So this might be a little bit meta, essentially. I didn't do a voiceover for this video, so I'm playing the video and recording it back. So hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to mute this and just kind of explain what I'm doing here. So uh, this was this was an experiment I was doing to make a 2D level, well, 2.5D, so the camera stays sideways. Um, and what you can see, I'm achieving that effect here using one of the standard asset cameras. But one of the things I wanted to do to make sure I didn't lose kind of a sense of immersion is make it so the right-hand side and the left-hand side and the up and the down level makes it so the camera doesn't clip off the frame, which you're going to see in a moment here. Right there. Now let me rewind that back just a sec. Show you what I'm talking about. So it happens pretty quick, right here. See that white, this white in the area? I don't really want that to come uh, into the frame because I want to keep that level in focus. So what we're doing in this tutorial is getting rid of stuff like that by creating a constraint for the camera, seeing it can only go so high, it can only go so left, and it can only go so right. So uh, we're going to see that in a minute. So there it is repeating again. This white is really annoying, so we're going to get rid of that here. And the way to do that is uh, by adding camera constraints. So in this section here, I'm going to go back to that for a second. In this section, I've written some camera constraints. Currently, I have a constraint for the left, the right, and the, uh, the z-axis. So I'm going to add another one here to prevent it from making it so when you jump to the top of the screen, you don't get that white block in it. So I'm adding an extra variable here, max y. <clears throat> this is so you don't, uh, excuse me, this is so you can set the, the maximum height of the y. So in a second, we're going to figure out what that height should be. But first, I'm going to write the if statement in here. What this is saying is basically if the current y position of the camera is change that to, is less than the max top, then create a separate variable, because in order to write to the transform that position, you need to pass it a variable. So there's a variable we're making, and then we're saying for that variable, set the y value equal to the actual max y top. So never go over that. And then transform that position set to position on x dot left. So now we're taking the new transform with our new y constraint, and we're going to change that. And there we go. Now we'll make it so if it's your current transform for the camera is greater than, then it's going to clamp it. It'll essentially limit it. So we'll see that in action here. Now it's going to start at zero. So yeah, that's the thing to note is this is currently zero. And when you press play, you're going to notice the camera is cut like down low. You can't even see the roof now. It's really low. So I'm going to fix that value a bit and adjust it to make sure we can see some of the ceiling, but I don't want the clip over the top of the ceiling. So it's at the one, still kind of low. So I'm just playing with these numbers down here, trying to find the right value for this. And then when I find something that looks good, I'll test it by jumping some more to see if I can get that white ceiling to show up. But so far, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going on the top of that ridge. It's looking good. Nothing yet. So I'll go back, stop it, and then set the value uh, in the editor while it's not in play mode, just so it sticks. And now I'll test it again with the 4 as I'm running around here to make sure that looks good. Oh, there's some white there. I saw a little clip of white at the top, so I'm going to adjust it again probably in a second here. But first, I'm going to change the aspect ratio. So this is something I'm experimenting with. This game could be played at different aspects. So, for example, this aspect ratio, that was really blatant. So i got to adjust it a little bit more to bring that in line so you don't get that white clipping. Now you could change the overall background color too to something less obnoxious like black, but I'm trying to get it all within the same contained frame. Yeah, see that's when you're too far close to the camera in this shot, it still shows up. So again, it's a matter of testing and then tweaking that value to find a value that's acceptable. Going back to the camera, setting up the, the max Y top value. So I keep tweaking that until I find something that looks pretty good in my uh, aspect ratios and my testing. So this is looking pretty decent right here. I'm not getting that to clip too much. Not bad. So now I'm checking out the right-hand wall. 
with a different aspect ratio. I want to make sure that still works correctly. Made the adjustments in the editor. Going back to play mode, looks like the left is okay. Checking the ceiling again. Haven't managed to get the ceiling to do anything um, clippy. Checking the right hand side. Yeah, it's not bad. In 16 by 10, so 16 by 9. Oh, blatantly, there's a problem right there. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Let's run back down here and see if anything else is broke. Yeah, looking okay on the ceiling, and I've got clipping on the left. Okay. No problem. We can adjust those values. Now this is the reason why I put simple values into the script is that I don't have to do too much work to then tweak these values. I go right into the attributes in the inspector and adjust them. Now this one is a little tricky. I'm just playing it by the numbers here. You know, so negative one, clearly not correct. So we'll adjust the numbers a bit more. What about negative 1.4? Nope, that's not good. Negative 9? Alright, so we're going in the wrong direction is what I'm going to realize in a second here. So, just keep typing in numbers till something looks good. One's looking pretty good. We don't have clipping in this point, so that looks nice. So with that value, uh, once you discover it in play mode, hopefully you stop it and then go back and update it in the editor. What you could do too, perhaps, is uh, adjust all these values in play mode then copy the component's value, and then paste it, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Ceiling's looking good. Okay, now to address this right-hand side white clipping here. I'm going to adjust the camera value some more. It's looking like about 29 would do it. 29 is looking pretty good. Now, I'm going missing for a second there, so maybe I can adjust that just slightly more. So you can see the character a bit from the far corner. A little missing is not fine. It's actually pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. No clipping. The character's decently in the shot. Yeah, it looks nice. So then adjusting that value again outside of play mode in the editor mode. I had to save that. Make sure everything looks good. So I think this is my final run through, just checking stuff, making sure nothing's broke after those adjustments. Left hand side's looking good. Ceiling clip looks like it's looking good. Yep, ceiling clip seems to be fine. And then right hand side is looking good as well. So there we have it. We've checked the constraints on the left, the right, and the top. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, this is going to be a new format I'm going to try out. If you have any questions about this stuff, just go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'll try to help out. Um, I'm going to start doing these videos in such a way that uh, I do a lot of experimentation, so I'm going to record the experimentation, put it to YouTube, and hopefully some of this stuff will help out uh, your own projects and get you going on certain things, and some of the technique might be helpful to see, um, as opposed to trying to do the more structured tutorials all the time, because they do take a lot more time, and some of them don't always hit, so let's give this a try. All right, thanks guys. See you later.